Immortal Hulk issue 3 sees Jackie McGee, the reporter from Arizona who's been following Hulk around the country, meet with four different people who are eyewitnesses to a Hulk sighting and she wants to tell their stories. The first is a police officer who went up against the villain Hotshot the Human Ray Gun and got injured. The second witness was a bartender who Bruce Banner talked with and almost hulked out on until he saw the police shoot out with Hotshot on TV, making him leave. The third witness was an old lady who thought Hotshot looked similar to James Dean and therefore loved him. Hotshot wanted the church priest to perform last rites on someone, but the priest says that he took hostages when he broke into the church, and he's sure the police will understand if he just talked to them, but Hotshot says nobody understands his love. The fourth witness is the priest himself, who says Hotshot was like something from horror film. He says Hotshot wanted last rites on his girlfriend since the devil was in her. He rants about the one below getting through the green door, and as Hotshot gets more and more angry, the Hulk arrives. The old lady and the police officer give their renditions of the Hulk's arrival and his fight with Hotshot. With the old lady shocked someone would hurt such a nice young man, while the officer thinks the Hulk was in the right to break Hotspot's hands. The priest says the Hulk had a hole blown through him by Hotshot, but that didn't stop the Jade Giant. Hotshot says that Hulk is the devil himself and the one below all, and as Hulk defeats the villain, the police officer continues his story, saying he and the priest went to the motel Hotspot was staying at, finding his dead Gamma infected girlfriend inside with the words green door scrawled across the walls. The old lady continues her side of the story then, saying that she knew the young infected woman from the town and even visited Hotshot in prison. The villain says that it wasn't him who killed her and he needed to tie her up since her power was getting out of control. Not long after her visit, the woman found out that Hotshot hung himself in his cell somehow. As the bartender talks about the Hulk sighting and how his car was all smashed up just after he was sighted, Jackie begins writing her article, saying to herself that she knows there was one guy who was at every incident and she needs to find him. Her phone rings and answering it, Walter Lankowski, the Sasquatch, is on the other end, saying he's been following Jackie's articles and apart from him, she's the only one looking for Bruce Banner. He says he's an old college buddy of Bruce's and wants to make sure he's okay since there's something he wants Bruce to look at. Immortal Hulk issue 3 was an interesting issue that began following the reporter who is tracking Hulk across country. I loved how the issue was set out with all the different eyewitnesses and different art for those eyewitnesses telling their wildly different stories. Keeping the idea that the Hulk is some sort of horror monster, you know, who's only seen in shadow and by certain people and everything. I think that's really great. I also love the slight unconnectiveness of each issue and how each issue kind of continues the same story of Bruce coming back and going across country, but the story in each issue and who he fights isn't connected really to anything except these last two kind of sort of have the green door sort of thing that's going on, so maybe that's going to be the thing that connects all these stories up, but otherwise I'm really happy with what Al Ewing's doing. I think it's fantastic how the Hulk is now sort of a horror character of sorts. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.